If the idea of typing in all the names and details of all your songs into your Apple device to use the Setlist Maker app doesn't appeal to you, there is an option to import your song data from a file that you set up on your computer. This is a paid upgrade, it's 99 cents, and I'll show you how to access it in a moment if you're interested in using it. But first let me show you how to set up your import file on your computer. Now one way to get started doing this is to go to the Setlist Maker support website and look for the link for a sample file. And this is the sample file, it's import.txt, and I'm editing it in a program called bbedit. You can edit it in any plain text editor, so notepad on Windows or text edit on a Macintosh. Um, it's easiest though to edit it in a program that lets you see the tabs and spaces. In bbedit you can say show invisibles and now I see a little triangle where each tab is because this is a what's called a tab delimited text file. That means uh, between each piece of data there's a tab and then there's a, a line break between each line. Now this file has to be set up in a certain way um, with the information you need in a certain order and it's best to check the website because as new versions of the app come out and we add new data, um, this format uh, might change, the rows might get rearranged or new things might be added. Right now we have uh, the title, which you can see is Song 1, the style, style 1, not very creative, this is just a sample file, the key, the tempo, the contents of an other field, and then if you have uh, documents that you want to attach, you can put the uh, file name of the document, and then if you want to have longer notes, remember the big notes field that you can access with the little pencil icon, you can put those here as well. So you can pretty much populate your whole song list from this file as long as you know um, what order to put everything in. Um, let's just, for a demonstration, add a new song here, and I'll call it a new song, and then I'll hit a tab and enter the style. And the style name has to match a style that you've already created on your device, otherwise it'll be ignored. But if you've created a style called Covers, that should pick it up. I'll enter a key. And if you don't want to fill out one of these fields, you can just leave it blank. But the way to do that is to put a tab, and then just don't do anything, and then do another tab to go to the next field. Uh, so we're leaving the tempo blank, but then we're going to put uh, an other text. And if you don't want to do the, the remaining fields, you can just go to the next line. But if you're going to skip a field and then put something there, you have to put an extra tab. So there's our import.txt file. Um, now, there's an easier way to do this, and that's to use a spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel or Apple Numbers. And um, I've got Excel here, and in this approach, I still need to follow the column order but it's a little easier because everything's kind of laid out, lined up for me, and so I don't have to worry about the tabs or the, the spaces. I don't have to worry about um, making sure I have all the right tabs in the right places. So I can just do my song, uh, my style, my key. If I don't want to add a tempo, I can just leave that empty. Uh, my other note, etc. And let's do another one. Um, in my uh, demo video database, I have styles defined as covers and originals, so I'll do the same thing here. P of D, for this one I'll put a tempo, but I won't put a note. So there's two songs. The only trick to using a sp the spreadsheet method is that when you save it, when you save your file, um, you can't just save it as the spreadsheet format, the Excel workbook. Um, you have to save it as a tab delimited text file. And so in Excel, I'm going to change the format to tab delimited text. And this is pretty common, but it's not the default, so you have to remember to do it. And I'm going to uh, put this in, my, in this folder here. And the other trick is that it has to be named import.txt. So it has to be tab delimited text. It has to have a certain name. And I'm going to replace the version that I made earlier. That's fine. And... This is just warning me that I'm not saving it as an Excel file. That's good. I don't want an Excel file. I want a text file. So now I have my file called import.txt, and it should have the right tabs and line breaks that the app needs to recognize it. Now, uh, next step is that we need to get this file onto our device, and we're going to do that through a feature 
uh, in iTunes called iTunes File Sharing. Let me switch over to iTunes. Now my iPad is already connected to my computer uh, so I can see it in the devices list in the left column of iTunes. So I'll click that and I get the kind of basic information about my device but at the top of the window I see a tab for apps. I'll uh, click that and then I see all the apps that are installed but that's not what I want. I want to scroll down to a section called file sharing and this shows all the apps that support file sharing and setlist maker should be there so I'll click setlist maker and now I see all the documents that I've copied to my app. These are all um, charts that I've copied uh, which you can learn about in another video but we also are going to use this same feature to copy our import.txt file to the device so I'll go back to the folder where my import file is and I can just simply drag it into this window and that copies it to the iPad. If I scroll down, I should, I should see it there. Import.txt. Okay, so now let's switch over to the iPad and I'll show you what to do next. Here's the iPad and we'll go into the database called Demo Video, which we created in an earlier video. And we'll go into the Songs list. And besides the, uh, the plus button that you use to manually add songs, this list also has an import button right next to it. It's a little document with an arrow. And that's the import button. And as I mentioned, this is a paid upgrade. It's 99 cents to activate this feature. Um, if you haven't activated it, just tap that button and you'll get a window where you can select the feature and uh, continue. And then you'll have to log in with your iTunes username and password and that'll process the payment for you. Um, but it's 99 cents and uh, you only have to do that one time. I've already done it, so when I tap the icon, I get a window. And if I set up my import.txt file correctly, uh, I will see all the songs that are in that file. And so I see the title, the key, the notes that I entered. For song two, I entered a tempo of 120 beats per minute, so I can even preview that tempo from here. Um, if something seems wrong, I can cancel and go back and fix my file and repeat the process. But this looks good. Uh, this is the data that I wanted, so I'm just going to hit continue. And now my two songs appear in my list, song one and song two and all the data that I entered in the import file should be here. Now I can go ahead and add more data if I want to or change it once it's here, but that saved me a lot of typing. Um, by the way, if I do try to import again, um, these two songs have already been imported, so they show grayed out. So if I want to add more songs to my file and on the computer and copy the file here again and import again, um, I don't have to worry about importing duplicates. It'll automatically skip songs that I've already entered. So there it is. I hope that's a big time saver for you.